of interesting guests and learning from their experiences. And in today's series, we have our guest, Sudhir Sharma. So I'll give a quick introduction about Sudhir Sharma, though it's very hard uh, to give a very quick introduction about him because he has a lot of achievements uh, to, which he has done over the period of three decades. So Sudhir is currently founder of uh, founder and chief executive of Indie Design, and uh, he is basically a postgraduate degree has a postgraduate degree from NID Ahmedabad, and uh, he has worked extensively in the field of design, especially in India, and also traveled across Asia and Europe. Um, if I talk about the work, he is renowned for his brand design work in uh, great brands like Bajaj Auto, Bajaj Finzer. Venkis, ICICI, Standard Charter Bank, and many other recognized brands. So, one more interesting fact that he is also a publisher and editor in chief of award winning Design India magazine. And uh, he also hosts uh, India's Best Design Awards, you guys might have heard of it, and the India Design Show annually. And then he is also serving as a jury member. He has served as a jury member as a uh, many prestigious design awards in association with organizations like in, uh, India Design Council, GDIO. And he's also uh, currently professor of practice at Ajinkya D. Y. Patil University, Pune. So audience, please welcome Sudhir Sharma. And uh, it's an honor, Sudhir, to speak with someone who has a three decade of experience and uh, coming up with a lot of achievement. Thank so you. welcome to Art of Design. Thank you, Nitin. Thank you. That, that's a good introduction, though I'll add to it. <laughs> that, that's a good one, yeah. So it's a, yeah, so it's a pleasure to be here. And Nitin, uh, yeah, you take it ahead. Right. So I think, uh, you know, just to start this conversation, I know like the professionally there is uh, still, I would, my, might have covered more, maybe 2% of what you have done, but I would maybe like to start with your journey before design. Uh, where you come from and what was your life like and how did you get into the field of design? Mm. Tell us something about your journey. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, thank you for having me. Uh, thank you all. I, I, I know what it takes to organize an event like this and to get people together. And thank you for all the people who are joining me on Insta Live. Uh, we are also live on uh, Design India uh, Instagram and the studio which is around. So I, I was saying I have around 20 people uh, with me right now. So quickly, um, in terms of my journey before uh, getting into design. So I joined NID, National Institute of Design, Ahmedabad in 1983. Okay, <clears throat> so that's exactly 30 years back, right? Exactly 30 years back, we are in 2023. Um, but of course, the the journey before that is, I I'm not I'm not sure if you guys, I'm sure most most of you were not really born at that time, but but the term design did not exist. It was not not the it's it was not a um, term in our regular language, um, especially in education at that time. So so. <clears throat> normally at that time people would do good careers would be medical or engineering agar acche number nahi aaye to bcom kar lo you know this was the um, option which people had and my dad um, was in army he's ex army man so what that meant was that in during school time we we traveled from place to place so we were like first 12 years of my education first to twelfth, we were in some 14 places, 14 cities. What that meant was that <clears throat> I never actually grew roots anywhere. But on the other hand, I became like you land up and you make friends quickly and you quickly forget them also and then move to a new place. You have <laughs> a lot of new friends. So it becomes a trait, but you really don't grow roots into one place. So that was one major thing. And frankly, I, I was good in studies. I was, I was not good, I was exceptional in studies. I was, I was the head of my school in ninth standard 
when the, the norm was that uh, only 11th and 12th uh, standard students will become head of school. And I, in 9th standard, I was the head of school unopposed. And nobody stood against uh, me in elections. I think there was a guy who stood and my teacher sort of got after that guy saying, Tum mat kar, tum mat kar, tu haar So, you know, it's like, um, we were in Jamnagar. Uh, I, at that time, <coughs> during, during um, 10th to 12th standard, and I saw an advertisement in the newspaper which said National Institute of Design um, Admissions, a small column. So I sort of cut it out. I, I love the term design. Design somehow it sort of, uh, you know, it, it, you, you feel different. It didn't mean medicine, it didn't mean engineering. Somehow also I think back on my mind, it felt fun. It, 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 the term had that connotation that you would do new things. Uh, design meant something new. The term didn't really have a meaning at that time and I had not heard it before. In Kendriya Vidyala's 10th standard book at that time, I don't know if it is there or now or not, there was a chapter called uh, The Bullock Car Design by S. Balram. S. Balram was a product design faculty in, uh, in NID at that time. Um, now he's in South and he's retired and he's teaching in South. But I was very impressed by that uh, article. That article basically was how um, he designed Bullock Cut. Um, <clears throat> and, and what that meant was that he was looking at the Bullock Cut from the Bullock's point of view, right? Not a human point of view. Not, it was like, uske kahan dard hogi, kahan pe, uh, you know, where will it get injured so that the weight is balanced and all. I was like, that was the first time I, I, I um, now I know there's a word for it called empathy, but that's, that's the first time I, I, I thought of this concept that you think of something from some other point of view. You know, if you wear a suit, how do you think of a suit? We don't think about it. Normally, we don't think about this, right? So that was fascinating. And I told my aunt that I want to do this design. Uh, my dad had gone to Ahmedabad for some job, so I told him, go look into this this place and tell me if I can get an entry there. So he went and he came back. There is a big building. A um, lot of young people there and you know, ladke bhi hain, ladkiya bhi hain, aur saath mein ghoom rahe the ek saath. So I told my dad, that's where I want to go. You know, that's the, that's the place. You know, really, because, you know, to a kid from a place like Jamnagar, where you, are, you live your life in, in segregated, this thing, this sort of sounded like heaven for me. <laughs> so I said, jana to wahi hai. And then we went uh, to a, um, of, of course, the parents had this question, ki iske baad mein job milega ki nahi milega? See, we, we were a very middle class, lower middle class family, right? So everything, all boys had a lot of this. Even now, boys have a lot of weight on their, their shoulder. Ke yaar, ghar ke liye kamana hai. So we went to this textile mill called the Jam next door. Uh, we found there is a guy called head designer. We went to his office uh, and uh, we asked him, ke, uh, is there a scope if you become a designer? So he was very, this thing, no, no, designer, kuch nahi hota hai. So nobody becomes designer, this and this. We told him, but you are a designer. So he said, yeah, yeah, I'm a special designer. Then he said a word that if only if you are from NID or something, there is a value. Otherwise, designer kuch nahi hota hai because, and then my dad said, NID matlab ye National Institute of Design mein admission mil gaya hai. So is that okay? So he was like, mujhe nahi mila admission. Manne teen baar try kiya. <laughs> so we sort of got assured that nothing to worry about and I packed my bags <laughs> and, and I actually got admission in the first go only. I had no preparation. I had done a lot of art in my school, so posters and picture cards and all that. I used to do photography. I had a camera called uh, Agfa Click 3. So <clears throat> I used to do black and white. Uh, enlargements of pictures and then hand color them and so I showed them a lot of these. I was very interested in photography. I thought I'll become Raghurai. Uh, that time Raghurai was the big guy in, in India today, right? So they discussed a lot of cameras with me, a lot of skills and all that. And I had knowledge because I had read books on cameras and frankly I had not seen any other camera other than that box camera which is click 3 but I knew about aperture, about shutter speed. I had all those discussions and Later, one of the guys who was doing the interview said, Tumar pas camera kaun sa hai? Can you show us your camera? So I was like, okay. So I showed them the camera. I said, but how do you know about 
ഫുക്കിൽ നിന്ന് പേർച്ച് കയറാൻ ഐ സെഡ് ഐ റെഡ് അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഐ നെവർ ഈവൻ സീൻ എ ക്യാമറ റൈറ്റ് സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഐ ആക്ച്വലി സോ എ സിംഗിൾ ലെൻസ് റിഫ്ലെക്സ് ക്യാമറ വാസ് ഇൻ മൈ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇയർ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ എ സീനിയർ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ മൈ റൂം മെനെ പുരി രാത്രി കൊച്ചി തരം സെ യൂസ് കറിയ മതെ ഐ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ടു ബി ഡൺ സോ ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ദ ബ്രീഫ് സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് മൈ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ടു എൻ ഐ ഡി ഐ കെയിം ടു എൻ ഐ ഡി ടു ബിക്കം എ ഫോട്ടോഗ്രാഫർ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് മൈ ഇനീഷ്യൽ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഫാക്കൽറ്റി വാസ് വെരി കൺവിൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഷുഡ് ഡു ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയൽ ഡിസൈൻ സോ ദേ ദേ പുട്ട് മീൻ ടു ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയൽ ഡിസൈൻ ബട്ട് വൺ ഓഫ് മൈ പ്രൊഫസേഴ്സ് വാസ് വെരി ഇൻസിസ്റ്റൻ്റ് ഓൺ യു ഷുഡ് ജോയിൻ ഗ്രാഫിക് ഡിസൈൻ സോ ഐ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഓൺ ദം തും ജഹാ ബി മേരാ നാം ഡാൽ ദോഗെ മേ കർ ലൂഗാ സോ വി കെയിം ബാക്ക് ഫ്രോം വെക്കേഷൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ ആൻഡ് മൈ നെയിം വാസ് ദെയർ ഇൻ ഗ്രാഫിക് ഡിസൈൻ സോ ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് ജോയിൻ ഗ്രാഫിക് ഡിസൈൻ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി yeah i think i think a lot of people uh, who get into design they just think about this higher purpose of, of that they want to be into creative field rather than that i want to be a graphic designer or a specific designer later on they of course you know they find their own uh, fire and then they get into a specific field but uh, i think during that time it was enough that engineering or doctor versus uh, you know is getting into creative field so you know that that's really great uh, so now the the topic let's let's touch upon that business is brand right um to be honest when i first, you know when you sent this topic that you know let's talk about this i was really shocked uh, because this is quite a bold statement uh, but i would love to understand uh, from uh, let's say what is brand from your perspective yeah so um i think the moment i tell you what is brand from my perspective you you will understand why i'm saying business is brand see in in my view brand has always been the experience it's nothing else but experience experience of something is the brand and how you think about it perception right so how do you perceive something is what we technically call brand but then how do you perceive something is how do you experience it right so so the moment you take the technical term experience into this thing how do we experience things there are not many ways you can experience things i mean there are only five ways you can experience things. there are five senses we have we have sense of smell we have sense of taste we have sense of touch right aur kya hota hai see uh here aur aur to kuch hai nahi these five senses are there but because of the triggers with these five senses you build up a, a idea that i like it or i don't like it that's your perception right so i'll give you an example if you go to a restaurant and you order the food right so even before you enter the restaurant for example you you look at the entry beautiful well lit easy to find the place very nice you happily go there's a guy at the at the podium he says sir kitne log hain are jagah hai aap aao baitho very nicely received he walks you to the place makes you sit you feel good about it right these are your senses working right and then comes the menu card beautifully designed menu card you like it love it very nice and while you're sitting there tumhare wo padosi ka khane ka smell aa raha hai tumko you know you are also hungry and you are smelling and saying yeah you know it's smelling so nice i want to have something like this food comes how the food is served how it is smelling how does it taste right with all that and finally you pay the bill and what is the value which you paid for it that sort of triggers a a thing in your mind whether i want to come back to this place or not whether i will tell my friends to come back to this place or not whether i will talk about this place tomorrow when we are at work or not right that's the brand as simple as that so what companies do and what brands do is control the senses of yours nothing else and if you actually see with each sense there are number of interfaces um, which are which are there which need to be controlled nowadays i mean last 10 15 years the digital uh, interfaces have become very large so we started believing that the experience is only inside the app no the experience is there how you walking in has somebody clean the lawn is there a place to park how do you find the place right how the guy is talking to you all that becomes take that into a, a different category altogether you want to buy a car okay so obviously how how do you decide which car you want to buy 
यू विल नीड टू थिंक अबाउट इट सो यू नीड सम काइंड ऑफ अवेयरनेस कि अरे देर इज अ कार आई सॉ ए पोस्टर समय से वर्ल्ड सेफेस्ट कार एंड आई आई वॉन्ट टू गो एंड सी दैट सो देन आई स्टार्ट लुकिंग सो द अवेयरनेस इज देर द फर्स्ट इज फर्स्ट लेवल इज ऑलवेज अवेयरनेस that's there's something there was a brand called mercedes benz and i need to look into that right i became aware that they are the world's safest car so i'll probably go online check their website the website also says we make very safe cars 102 technologies inside 150 technologies outside look at this video look at that video you will go through reviews all that you had awareness now you are getting information online which is curated not curated whichever way then what happens is i take a decide okay i want to go to the showroom then i go to the showroom so showroom pe right if i find my parking place is the security guy letting me in and i go inside and it's very hot outside but andar bada acha temperature hai the car is displayed very beautifully and there is light on it and there is board on it next to it there's a guy who quickly comes and he attends to you sir can i help you in in some way and you say fine price kitna hai iska right so all the he says don't worry about price we'll work it out aap iska ek test drive lo so your showroom experience is good plus he also tells you bus our cars are very safe people don't die in our cars and he said chalo test drive lete hain and he takes the car out you drive it and you drive in in a nice place and you drive at 160 130 140 and you feel stable in the car the product experience is good and it is giving you the experience of having a safe car even when you drive at 160 you feel you are driving at some 40 km or something it's very safe uh, for you and you drive the whole car and you come back and then th- this guy makes you sit brings you coffee experience 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 now now look at this then they give you a financial uh, proposition right he'll ask you questions they'll give you a quotation they'll give you this don't worry we'll work it out EMI this 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 all that you want to show the car to your dad so we will bring the car to your house now now look at this the showroom the digital experience the website the the holdings which i saw for the first time the coffee the way it is served the car itself the product itself the way it is driven right uh, <coughs> the 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 whole financial thing the way the papers are handed over to you the way the guy is groomed and and the way he is talking all this is experience that's what i'm sensing i'm i have nothing beyond experience and i go back and and tell my family in the night and they say nahi yaar ye bahut mehangi hai tu ek kam kar uh, maruti dekh le right and and you know if you have this experience and then you go to maruti not that maruti experience is bad i'm just comparing you land up there and there is nobody to attend to you कार्स हैं तुम खुद ही कार में बैठ के देखो यू आस्क देम फॉर ए टेस्ट ड्राइव एंड से बॉस वी आर बुक्ड नेक्स्ट वीक विल सेंड सेंड ए कार आप फोन करना आप दस बार फोन करोगे दैट गै विल ब्रिंग द कार टू यू नाउ इट्स इट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग दैट इन इंडिया वी आर सो मेनी पीपल दैट एनी डैम थिंग यू मेक वो बिकेगा सो समहा वी वी स्टार्टेड बिलीविंग दैट सेल इज ब्रांड सेल इज नॉट द ब्रांड it is that that pleasure which you have while going through that whole experience of interacting with somebody or something or some service that is the brand and you know the wonderful part all those interfaces are designed by designers including the car the the showroom the lighting the website the holding the way the guy will be groomed wo dress kya pehnega wo paper kya dega tumko book kaun si dega brochure kaun si dega i'm talking about car think about a soap absolutely the same experience right think about a airline same thing so all this is experience and then you go back and think what do companies do they only control the experience the the other part is that a lot of people believe that if i control the perception that means the awareness and information awareness is through advertising information is through website and app but if i control this much you control 90% of your brand in india that 90% of the brand is enough to get you business aap ek soap banao aur logon ko bol do you know have a very nice beautiful girl saying maine raat ko soap laga ke so gayi subah uth gayi aur meri shaadi ho gayi 
and I became so fair and मेरा मेरे को जॉब मिल गया we have this we we have this right so so that is that is creating perception and information even though it is wrong uske wo 2 million cases bik jate hain raat ko soap ke and that guy says ye soap band karo kal ko naya soap nikalenge ki iski smell itni achhi hai ki dusre din se tumne khana band kar diya aur tum patle ho gaye so it's so easy to just work on the perception part and not the experience part whereas the brand actually is perception and experience together and that is the business company ko aur karna kya hai gaadi achhi banao soap acha banao packaging achhi karo you know let people know it in a in a good way then people will spend their money on it there is nothing else but this so the whole brand the whole business is only a brand the the companies which understand this actually make benefit from here because then they start controlling wherever they they think so there is something called marketing there is something called sales there is something called design there is something called r and d they know which they need to tweak where and they will they will gain uh, benefit from there so since it is in very much benefit uh, for the business how is how is your personal experience has been because let's say you are there past three decades seeing these businesses understanding more about these experiences and then also getting benefited from it how was the case like before and how the brand was seen versus the the value uh, which you see has been increasing nowadays people are more of brand aware versus before so how if you can talk about the evolution through your lens i don't think people are brand aware people are perception aware people are aware of advertising uh, persuasion and perception not really brand i think in in india that's why i made that comment that आर पॉपुलेशन है सो मच हम लोग तो यार एक गली के चौराहे पे खड़े होकर पानीपुरी खा लेते हैं बैकग्राउंड ऑफ वेयर द रॉ मटीरियल इज कमिंग फ्रॉम क्या हो रहा है इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज अग इशू राइट सो वॉट इज सस्टेनेबिलिटी पानीपुरी के लिए जो पानी होता है ना that is the sustainability issue where is the water coming from we don't think about it we think about more pani puri banao banao dalo mere muh mein and i'll throw that kachra whatever that plate is on the side of the road and go away from that so what matters to me is the is this sensory appreciation only at that time this is exactly how companies work companies most of the companies when i say i'm not really generalizing i think there is a lot of awareness now that there is something called experience of the product itself which you need to change but by and large people know that tweaking the the first two parts the perception and awareness of a product uh, gets you 80% of the benefit it doesn't build your brand the problem is if you use a cream in the night which will make you fair in the morning and have you get married in the morning and you tried it 5 times 10 times par hua nahi kuch chances are that you will not actually buy that product again plus you will tell your friends ke yaar ye tube doesn't work but you know what happens till then till the time you actually come to this conclusion that this product doesn't work the companies made millions of dollars unka kaam ho gaya and and then the the companies will start because they can give a big advertising they'll get best of the bollywood guy and say listen now i am telling you this really works <laughs> they say yaar last time to wo wo wali heroine thi which didn't work this one is saying it works let me try again and you again get into that trap it doesn't work again you're not building a brand you are increasing the sales so i think this this sales and brand ka difference audience is is still to discover for a large this thing the businesses know that very clear businesses know that very clear that's why i have said for years that from india we actually don't have a brand outside okay but then the moment i say that you'll say no look at this 5000 crore 10000 crore you know 2000 crore this product is selling and i keep saying that sales we com- we keep saying that sales is the brand sales is never brand it's not sustainable actually so unless you keep advertising i work with so many of my clients for example they they pump in money like aaj Uh, in next one month let's put in uh, 50 crores on digital advertising and on tv and all that 
वाई एंड दे पुट दैट फिफ्टी क्रोज और उनको डेढ़ हजार करोड़ की सेल हो जाती है बट इज दैट ब्रांड बिल्डिंग दैट्स नॉट ब्रांड बिल्डिंग सो फॉर मी ब्रांड बिल्डिंग इज ऑलवेज द अदर वे ना बिल्ड एक्सपीरियंस फर्स्ट देन गो एंड मेक नाइस अबाउट इट एंड आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स ट्रू फॉर एनी सीरियस डिजाइनर anybody who is a designer would actually worry about what their audience will actually think about when the awareness perception part is over They're but very... is it possible that you know through the consistent messaging and which ad chalta rehta hai bar bar aata rehta hai and then you also buy basically you know maybe you are persuaded and then you actually believe in that so your your belief has been twisted is it possible so so i i think um, for us for indians um, it's a cultural issue as well right so so there there are so many things which are cultural to us i gave you the example of pani puri uh, wala guy right i mean it's not something which is which is come up now it's always been there pani puri wala wo corner pe khada hota tha hota tha yahan bada pav milta hai pani puri hai matlab whatever and frankly for years we've never had a problem we've not not bothered where that uh, water is coming from right i mean so many times we work with a lot of food brands and say why does a food from a particular place become famous and we were just joking about this at lunch ke wahan ke logon ka jo pasina hota hai na uska taste alag hota hai it's never been a problem we have we have mithais which are handmade we have khana which is handmade we eat with hand so so hygiene has never been an issue with us why because we are actually very very hygienic we wash our hands we there is there is so much we do right it's just that when when this this urban culture is mixing the the culture from somewhere else and into that that, that the practices starting are are they worrying now and you start worrying ke i mean i drink only mineral water now when i travel why because i i don't know where the water is coming from why is that because i don't trust the guy who selling you the bottle on the way uh, what is his intention his intention is wo bottle tumko bechega tum usse dusri bottle nahi khareedne wale ho you never going to see him in your life so his only part is that that bottle he should sell to you uske baad mein aap pani phenk do aap jo marzi karo he is not bothered about that water i think till we are into that mentality of brand building we have a problem the moment you right. get into ki yaar whatever said and done you know i was in um, i was in zurich for ixda uh, a month back a month and a half back and you can drink water anywhere walking on the road they tell you that that every water in in bathroom taps and in open taps anywhere it's a potable water but there's somebody who's taking a guarantee of this thing we've tested it people will not cheat you there's a trust built in that there are shops without shopkeepers right you you buy whatever you want to buy it's experience you buy whatever you want to buy and then when you're getting out there's a kiosk you just scan your things put your credit card pay the bill and get out from there there is nobody supervising and looking at you I mean, I had to stand there and look around. कि यार कोई तो होना चाहिए certify करने के लिए कि I'm I'm paying for it. There's nothing. There's a trust that that you will do this. There's nobody to check your tickets in 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 public transport. You're supposed to buy a ticket. Right. If that happens in India, then. So so I'm saying for us in India, the population is against building a brand. Okay, we have too many people who are fly-by-night operators, and and they want to have a very quick, um, you know, they want to make the buck very very fast. So they compromise. But it's not that the there are people, there are people who are very serious about the brand forever. So what's the relationship? Since you also talked about trust, in a very different matter, where you know you went to Zurich and you saw that you you started trusting because of the all inter. I think I lost you. It's an internet problem from our end. Okay. Because video is not paused. Yeah, it says you lost your network. Trying to reconnect. I hope. 
Oh, I lost the connection completely. Should I try some other? Concept of learning. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. I, sorry. I think we had an internet issue. Last you. Yeah, we were talking about trust. Right. So how the trust and uh, how you know trust is generated and how tightly it is coupled with brand and experience. Yes, and I think the the latest example. <coughs> which all of us, I'm sure all designers must have seen is this Vision Pro coming from Apple, right? Can you hear me? I think there's... Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, we can. Okay. So, <clears throat> it's not that we've not had the headsets. We've had the headsets. But somehow, if you go through the reviews right now of day before's WWDC, you will find that people are saying because Apple is doing it, they will be able to build an ecosystem on it. And the reason they, they are putting it out, I mean, there's, there's a huge amount of trust into what Apple is doing. Meta has done it, failed. Okay, somebody else has done, Vario has done it, failed. It's not, not that it is, Samsung would do it, probably not to the same, uh, this thing. But why is it when Apple is doing a product like this and people are saying, oh, it'll work. And not just work, we're going to pay three and a half thousand dollars for it. Okay. So I always say that the proof of trust is, is not just to say that there is trust and all that. Is that I should be ready to pay the value for that. So you actually never have a brand till somebody is ready to spend for the brand value. Right. I, I see a lot of companies, for example, saying, ये प्रोडक्ट है मार्केट में इसको दस रुपया कम कर देते हैं दो सौ रुपये कम कर देते हैं विल डू अगेन लॉट ऑफ सेल्स सेल्स विल हैपन विल द ब्रांड बी बिल्ट नो पीपल विल लीव द प्रोडक्ट द मोमेंट योर प्राइस इज हायर देन दी अदर अदर प्रोडक्ट बट देर आर प्रोडक्ट्स विच यू विल स्टैंड इन द क्यू राइट वेट फॉर इट टिल इट कम्स टू योर प्लेस एंड यू विल बाय इट एट ए प्रीमियम सो According to me, the trust is a transactional value. If that trust cannot be transacted in hard cash, it's not a brand. Interesting. In, so in a, if we talk about right, yeah. So if we talk about let's uh, like think about business at the core, it is also just a value transaction of value, and then trust comes into picture, and that's and experience comes into picture. So overall, basically, you can transact only when you understand the value and ready, for, ready to pay for it. And ready to pay a premium for it. Okay, I'll give premium. you an example. Very good designer, very good design company. I mean, all of us run design companies and uh, premium design company, this, that. What is the, what is the, the parameter of you running a successful brand design company or successful user experience company? Right now, if there is a client who is asking for the pitches and there are four designers who are pitching for it, okay, and you get the job because you are lowest in cost, but you are as good as everybody else, is that a good brand or a bad brand? Got it, yeah, right. But you put your price which is 30 percent higher or maybe 200 percent, this happens at times, right. Right. Somebody else is charging for a project 10 lakh rupees and say, we don't charge less than 40 lakh rupees. It's the same work. Work is not changing. But somehow the client says, no, he's done such 50 projects before. He's not, I mean, there will be benefit of his experience to us. That's the trust. And they're ready to pay value for it. Then you're a brand. Right. 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 But if you're discounting a brand, that's a sale. It's not a brand. So I think even on, on personal this thing, people need to understand this. It's easy to make money. Not difficult to make money. Easy to make money. Difficult to build a brand. Because brand building requires convincing people that I'm the right guy, I'm the right car, I'm the right soap, I'm the right food. Right? And why I'm right? Because I've done this in history. I'm doing it better than others. 
आई डन इट बिफोर सी सो एंड सो सेज दैट नाउ यहाँ पे वो ट्रस्ट हम फटाफट कर लेते हैं अमिताभ बच्चन से इज दैट ओके ये तेल सिर में लगाओ एंड यू विल बी कूल एंड ठंडा एंड ऑल ऐसे रही इफ अमिताभ बच्चन इज सेइंग इट आई कैन डू इट आई मीन इट विल एक्चुअली वर्क आई विल बिल पे प्रीमियम फॉर दैट राइट बट देन इट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ अमिताभ बच्चन टू सी कि यार वो सच्ची में तेल को ठंडा करता है या नहीं करता है बिकॉज ही इज यूजिंग ही इज ट्रांजेक्टिंग हिज ट्रस्ट right you believe that is true but we know in many cases that is not true right so let's say when you are building a brand uh, as a designer and so let's say that company has just maybe a product or a service right now and they they are just in the initial phases and they have not really set a particular uh, you know experience as such and they they've just thought about the kind of thing they are going to solve what are some of the attributes a designer might have to look at because now you have talked about the entire possibility of experience right where to start so so this is where the values come in i know we we talk about values very loosely so when somebody right. is starting a business you look at the integrity of the person who starting the business brand is always the person behind the brand brand is not a thing by itself right so that person what is his intrinsic values good in engineering i will not short change my customers i will not give bad service i will provide this i am not going to cheat people right these are the values then you say transparency honesty there's a meaning to those we use these words without meaning actually so i'm i'm the, the reason i didn't talk of them earlier but if a bank is talking about relationships it's talking about building integrity having honesty really helping you in business imagine those values what is it as a as a audience i am looking for from the bank i want a bank which can help me they may not have built all those things right but when i when i reach uh, out to the to the person in the bank and he actually lands up at your place and says i will take you through the whole thing don't worry he assures you that relationship manager right you need to see the values in action so when people have not built the whole experience of the brand yet or they don't have the enough years of that the values are very important and you should be able to judge how close are they to the to those values are not just empty words and you can make out you know you you can you can figure this out because if it's a cut paste company owners themselves don't understand any value kahan se aayi hai a engineering company will not have the same values as a banking uh, company will not have the same uh, values of a food company will not have the values of a service company ye sab alag alag hai na because the values required to do these businesses are different so comes the intention behind doing the business it's fine i mean you have to make money every business has to make money but if that is one of your values that we will always be profitable you can be assured that they will not care for the customer right but we designers have actually made it so easy for people to have these very nice sounding values that audience is really confused they don't even look at your values they go by go by the markers flags when they when they are dealing with you and and these flags are very intuitive they are based on those five senses only there's nothing else right would would there be any segmentation in the the way people perceive let's say you know we talk about there is a certain visual, visual communi- communication happening there is certain actual product which you are using then there are experiences like you are serve coffee menus and you know different places you have such different would there be a such segmentation in terms of how we perceive or how users are perceiving i think there would be P- people are very smart so audience is very very smart they are very quick to sort of and i i think brand perception is binary you like it you don't like it it's as simple as that there's no gray in that many people say that isko thoda sasta kar do then i will like it aisa nahi hota hai okay it fits your budget it fits your pocket it might solve your purpose but it doesn't become a good brand for you there is wo dil mein ek hota hai ki wo mujhe chahiye you know this is something which i want and and that's the other thing that if it is a brand which really appeals to you 
and and you pay premium for it even after that you will feel gratified you will feel oh my god i have a iphone right now right or or whichever i mean i i bought a watch tag here was my first most expensive watch i bought uh, again in switzerland 35000 rupees that time this got 25 years back and i was so thrilled i'm telling you man it's a very heavy watch main usko pehen ke sota tha you know i used to feel so good having and i knew that everybody else my dad is saying isme hai kya matlab ye neele rang ki ghadi pehen ke tum but i knew i i love because i had seen the film and i had seen how difficult it is to make a watch the watch had a value for me i spent on it i mean today theek hai every second year you are buying a apple phone apple watch which is more expensive right right also we need to understand that the brand value is not same for everybody for me it could be different uh, the person next to me will have a different brand value so somehow companies equated saying agar kharida to brand value ban gaya nahi hai waisa nahi somebody might be buying it for a very different reason altogether it's that's why research is design research is are very important it's very important to understand and differentiate the reason Uh, for which the customer is appreciating your product or an experience many yes. years, many years yeah. back in uh, in ludhiana we were doing a market research and uh, for a motorcycle and we were asking the guy saying he went it's a new motorcycle so he sat and said bahut acha hai right and we had to give this feedback to the uh, design engineering guys so you can't come back and say bahut acha motorcycle hai then you have to go a little deeper saying acha kya hai matlab what is it that you're liking so he's saying nahi bas bas acha hai you know then you have to sort of seat soft hai ya suspension acha lag raha hai ya because you can touch your feet on the ground what is it that you're liking in that i think the yeah, yeah. sorry 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 is it okay now can you hear me yeah look the acha kya hai yeah so i'm i'm saying that it could be the design he is liking he is liking the fact that the bike is a little lower so he can touch both his feet so he feels more secure or the the seat is soft or the suspension is nice or or the reach ergonomics is good that that design language translation we have to do so that the product and experience can be good we can't expect our customers to be articulate to to be able to to talk about the brand in that language so brand in in customers language acha hai acha nahi hai it only starts here right my dad is using uh, big basket uh, bb daily on his phone he can't use it for much he finds it very uh, difficult to use that usme scroll kaise karna usme and after every month they change the interface is a bigar company hai mujhe use nahi karni hai and then he watches a ad which says uh, sharukh khan is advertising that you know what his his view of sharukh khan has changed because of the <laughs> big basket ka experience he says itna acha actor hai isne bahut paise khaye honge isliye ye kar raha hai but bad thing he is promoting look at this the the brand perception from bad product experience goes to a good guy who is actually earning lot of money doing good films and he says ki film nahi dekhni hai wo big basket ko promote karta hai wo I mean that that is also now getting the reverse effect on Shahrukh Khan. Yes. No, that's just an example. Uh, I, <laughs> I I I love Shahrukh Khan and I love his movies, but that mm-hmm. is what happens, and that's the truth. And we as designers need to be very aware of this. That brand is not a academic subject. It is a very practical, tangible experience of a person who's consuming the brand. it's not it's not methodical something you just write about you don't write about it but it's something you feel you experience it and we are actually shaping those experiences right those experiences are built by us they're not built by company by somebody neela kar do usko farak nahi padta lal kar do usko farak nahi padta is we mm-hmm. have to go and nahi lal is indian color you know if you do lal it will remind you of holi and diwali and this and that and then the client says haan theek hai theek hai lal kar do isko but finally the yeah. customer is the one who's who's actually going through this i think we are on the on the verge of question answers now right yeah 
Right, right. So thank you so much, uh, Sudhi, for sharing you know such great insights. Thank and you. I'm sure everyone uh, must be enjoying this session. So now, now I open this to question answers. Uh, those who have any questions, feel free to you know write it in the chat box, uh, and then we can share it to Sudhi. And I think Sudhi, you also have an audience there. Uh, any questions? And from anywhere, we are open yeah, to take yeah. questions. So even Insta Live, if there's a question. Uh, okay, guys, <coughs> write questions, and somebody will will point it out to me. Right? You guys, any questions? Everybody stunned listening to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hota hai. You know, any any of these subjects which we have, experience is another thing. UI, uh, user experience, we call it. Uh, user interface, we call it. We must always define it for ourselves. Okay, so there's a question that says, yes, sir, is perception and awareness applicable for personal branding? Absolutely, yes. So, uh, see, that's something which I talked about. This is one of the earlier Insta Live sessions which I had was on personal branding. It's there on my Instagram, on Design India Instagram. So, check it out. But I, I really feel that there is, behind every product and service, there's a person, man or a woman, always. And it is their values which they transfer to the to the product and service. You will see that whenever you, you go to a product, you want to see isne design kisne kiya hai, isko bana hai. There is a story to, to those things. And you want to feel those human beings behind those stories. Right? In personal branding experience is very important. So, <clears throat> I was uh, telling this. You have a human connection. What is a brand is a connection. So what is a personal brand is how you connect to another uh, person. How, how do you connect? Eye contact. One of the ways of connecting. Okay. Right. Now look at this. The moment you look at me, I look at you, we build a connection. Now okay, yeah, we're doing it through the camera, but still there's a connection. So there's a connection through the screen. <clears throat> now this can be done when it is not live also. Movies. Right? You watch a movie, but you build a connection with the hero or the heroine. It's a personal connection. You know her so well. You know him so well. It's a different thing. He will not know you. <laughs> ever. Right? But connection to ban gaya. And that connection is the brand. What does Shah Rukh has? Shah Rukh is a brand. I mean, it's so many people connect to him on, on a very personal level. I'm telling you, this happened to us recently, last week in Goa. We were sitting in that uh, art cafe and the Bollywood guys walk in and somehow you stand up and you say, Hi, as if, you know, I'm to bachpan ke lost friends hai them. Like I've seen you forever and you know me also, which is not true. So the guy sort of looks at you and obviously he's got used to this that people react like this and he says, yeah, hi. But you, at that time it hits you that actually we don't have the connection. I have a perception of the connection. The personal brands are like that. So any person who is able to build a perception of the connection with an audience is a brand. That personal brand has come up. It could be actor, it could be singer, it could be a performer, it could be a designer, it could be an artist. If you build that connection, brand ban gaya. And then people will pay premium. Shah Rukh Khan ki film ke liye hajar rupay bhi diye na. Patan dekhne ke liye. We did that. <coughs> so we have one more question. Uh, yes. Like a couple more questions. Yes. And another next question is about small and media, small businesses. What they can do to make their relationship and trust with customers. And in the, especially in the era where, uh, in the AI era. Where do I see the question, uh, questions? Can it's in the chat. Uh, this one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it's not showing anything. Scroll down. Scroll down. There's no scroll left. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry. So what's the important? Which one are you talking about now? Kiska? Which question? Supreet Singh uh, Supreet. Okay. has asked, what is important for small businesses? So what and is the important for small businesses to do? How they make their relationship and trust with customers? I mean, what is easy source for owner in AI era? Uh, AI era, to abhi, matla, it is just coming on the head. Uh, <laughs> we're just feeling the weight but see I, I'll tell you I work with a lot of businesses uh, one of my <coughs> closest clients is 
Bikaranjan man from Bikaner. They make bhujia. Okay, they make bhujia and sweets. And I tell you the amount of learning I have um, on brand which comes from looking at how they relate to their business and to people. Okay, how how much do they worry about this? Me masala kya kya hona chahiye? Kahan se aata hai? क्यों वो मसाला होना चाहिए और वाई इट हैज़ टू बी लाइक दिस इज इज फैंटेस्टिक टू सी यू लर्न ए लॉट फ्रॉम द बिजनेस सो स्मॉल डू वट डू स्मॉल बिजनेस डू दे टेक केयर ऑफ दीज एक्सपीरियंसिस दे विल नॉट गिव यू एनी थिंग रॉन्ग आई मीन इवन जस्ट लुक एट दिस द गाय हु डज प्लम्बिंग इन योर हाउस ओके ही विल टेक केयर दैट वेन ही इज डूइंग द प्लम्बिंग ही डज इट वेरी प्रॉपरली सो दैट यू डोंट हैव अ प्रॉब्लम चांसेस आर दैट ही कॉल यू आफ्टर टू डेज एंड चेक कि सर वो मैंने नलका ठीक किया था ठीक चल रहा है कि नहीं चल रहा है ट्रस्ट ही नोज अच्छा अगर उसने ठीक किया एंड तुम्हारा नलका ठीक चल रहा है और तुम्हारे पड़ोसी को प्रॉब्लम है योर पड़ोसी इज ऑल्सो कैन कॉल इम दैट्स ब्रांड बिल्डिंग राइट एंड एंड देन यू हैव सम प्रॉब्लम एंड एंड देन यू से यार एंड ही टेल यू बॉस मैं तो बाहर जा रहा हूँ मैं अभी गाँव में नहीं हूँ आई विल कम बैक नेक्स्ट वीक तब तक आप कैसे भी काम चला लो फिर मैं आके कर दूंगा ठीक यू विल वेट फॉर हिम राइट इमेजिन देर देर इज योर फेवरेट पानीपुरी वाला और और वड़ा पाव वाला यू गो टू दैट प्लेस यू ड्राइव टू ए सर्टन प्लेस टू हैव ए सर्टन फूड वाई बिकॉज दे आर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ ऑफ वॉट दे आर सर्विंग यू हाउ दे आर सर्विंग यू दे आर अवेयर दैट दिस इज वॉट इज बिल्डिंग देअर ब्रांड राइट सो स्मॉल बिजनेस आर आर एक्सट्रीमली केयरफुल अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट एंड द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट विच दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग that's how the relationship is built okay in the source for owner now <coughs> see what has happened ai into that category is at the most how do you articulate what you are doing right this is a problem of larger businesses not small businesses small businesses ko bolne ki zarurat nahi hai ki yaar hamara khana acha hai hamara pani puri achhi hai ya main acche tire repair karta hu they don't do that you experience it you have word of mouth and you go experience it yourself and you like it and then you keep going to them again and again they do not need to use ai to promote themselves to give you a catchy headline phrase or or a nice tvc which will work out right they don't need to do that it's only when businesses ka scale itna bada ho jata hai that it is very difficult for for everybody to to go and experience it themselves then you need you know a glitzy um, framework chahiye i need to have experience should be full of animation and you know location should be in sri lanka or shot in in europe somewhere or austria somewhere and we then start worrying about those things so frankly ai era into experience don't worry much about it the it's not going to change much finally it is those senses which are important and it is not ai ka senses it is your senses which is important Right. So, so I, I might. I think I see a thumbs up from uh, right. Look, please. The next question is from Rishav, yeah. and he wants to ask about the future of branding. Any pattern shift which you are noticing uh, could be applicable for next five to ten years. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I am seeing. Um, you know, the companies have started investing into the total experience before they launch the product. we seen this example for example we saw this with apple apple has launched the headset all the sensors are working internal external the gestures are working the apps they've already figured out how the apps will work what you can do with it what will be the price the whole ecosystem is built so much so that tim cook also spoke about how it will be sold there will be people in the store which will let you experience this and right so the full ecosystem the full brand cycle is full experience uh is is worked out what i've seen is in india we have always been there are people who are very technology oriented very um engineering oriented ki mere paas ye hai isko market mein dalunga log khush ho jayenge dekh ke because it will last forever and ever and it will start selling without worrying about whether <coughs> people will know about me or not okay but now i see the larger companies are actually they invest a lot into product development testing it properly researching it properly 
doing the graphics and, and awareness and advertising and all that and then doing the showrooms and launching it properly also go to the level of working out how it will be serviced or end of life for that product how will they take it back and it will be recycled okay so that's a future trend which i'm saying so far we have only bothered about building a product pushing it out in the market i don't care what happens after that now i see there's a trend in in people saying we also service our, our product and our brand very well and end of life is what i'm thinking of right now so we have materials which are sustainable material and things coming out right i do worry that i buy <coughs> chips wafers uh, and i finish it in in 20 seconds but that pouch i buy this in will live for 10 million years in some nali somewhere right i want if somebody can can write on the po- pocket saying ye pouch jo hai aap phenk do ye 5 din mein dissolve ho ke zameen ke andar ghus jayega i'll be i will buy that product and i think that awareness is coming up so i i see that that's the future of branding that you don't only think of how the brand is built you also think of how this brand will be killed extremely important yes rishabh so ashish and they nowadays so yeah yeah so do you think it is uh, easier or harder to build brand nowadays compared to earlier era because now we have so many more variables to take care to build a brand compared to what it was for the years back what's your thought okay so if you if you're asking if it's easier or harder i would say it's easier because there's more knowledge but it is more expensive yeah okay okay it's easier to build a brand there are people like us we'll take you on the right path <laughs> to our clients right but we'll cost money so it is easier there's more knowledge there's more awareness but it is expensive to build a brand got it so so this uh, is more yeah sorry ishan yeah so uh, so is it what is uh, the most crucial thing to build a brand to have a really good product or to you know scale it uh, so that more people have a reach to it i think all of it so the purpose of the brand is very important finally every brand wants to make the money <coughs> right if just think about right. this beautiful iphone lovely iphone right i i went and bought my first iphone from manhattan store the that uh, the first store which steve jobs had built uh, iphone was not available in india at that time right imagine the headset is built beautiful i mean unless he is is ready or these guys are ready to put this out in millions and all those million people are going to be happy they are not going to benefit from it so scaling is is not a question of building a brand scaling is to to benefit from the brand it's it's wrong to say what is crucial in building a brand everything is crucial the product is is important the the experience of the product the service end of life is important how you create awareness is also important i have to be attracted towards the brand i have to get to know about it wo pata hi nahi hoga tum kya karoge uske bare mein right right so Correct. so the purpose of a business is to make money so obviously they have to scale it i also that's another thing say for example many of my clients beautiful product very nice product not available in the market and they keep saying boss yahan becho bikega bahut bikega bol de mera production hi nahi hai itna main kya kaise distribute karu so they have to go by their own this thing how much they can invest into production but brand is always larger than than what you think it is right so so the uh, i think the if we can spare five more minutes there's a I, last interesting question yes uh, from deepak saini and he is asking about your opinion on the early stage b2b startups and now whenever we are talking this brand we are talking about the b2c or customer segment where you know people are able to experience much but here you know what are the nuances can you share a few steps uh, for the b2b startups in order to use and can get started their branding so i i'll tell you um, very early in my career okay i didn't actually tell you my career right um, 
the company which I started on campus when I was at an ID was Elephant Design. So I was with Elephant Design till 2009. I'm still a shareholder, but not working there. I work at Indie Design. Uh, very early in my career, we did land up working with a lot of B2B brands. Okay. And this was always a question which used to come. B2B brand guys will come and tell you, we don't need to do this. We need to don't need to spend so much money. We don't need to be so flashy. Because it's it's not a B2C brand. It is a B2B brand. Now, now think about this. What's the difference between B2B and B2C? If you actually think about this, what is it? We are taking for granted that moment it's B2B, there are so many experience elements which you can remove, not needed. Why? See, I think, uh, Sudhir, in B2B, right, the, the buyer and the consumer are sometimes different. Like the, somebody else is buying at a larger, for the larger audience and then there are end consumer for it as well, right? That's right. maybe a bigger differentiator. It's, and in B2C, direct, there's a direct consumer available. Yeah. So it is like to influence larger sales, you have to influence one person instead of influencing that larger number of people. So what that means is that if you get to know that one person, you know, he likes only grey, you can just give him grey. You don't need to do red, yellow, green, all that. Very frankly, it, it doesn't matter. Finally, there's a human being at the, at the other side, right, of receiving the brand. And he goes to the same shopping mall, he rides a car, he's a B2C customer, he's a C in, in many other things, what he's wearing, what he's eating, what he's drinking, his preferences are same. They are not different. Okay. Where do they change? When you start saying that the moment you become a B2C brand, you have to spend more for that experience. But my experience is the moment you start treating a B2B brand just like a B2C brand in terms of designing the experience, the customer is delighted. Right? This this whole concept of B2B is to strip it down saying thoda sasta mil jayega mere ko. I don't want to spend a lot of money. They'll, they'll come and tell you, you are not a B2C brand, we can't spend that kind of money, we want to spend less. So what that means is, all the experiences which you give to a B2C customer, you don't need to give him. You can cut it down. I think Deepak still has some question and he has raised his hand. Yeah, Deepak. Yeah, thanks for that. Hi, Sudeep. So I actually wanted to confirm something like uh, since I work in a B2B startup myself, uh, we can't do the same things like Zomato or Swiggy and we can't send those post notifications to our clients, right? Because in B2C, what usually happens is we chase normal people like you and me, but in B2C, we, but in B2B, we target companies, we have accounts, we usually go after CDOs. So what can we do from a branding perspective, from a branding POV so that we can, uh, you know, attract ton of companies, ton of CEOs, CTOs, uh, so that they can come to our companies. Like big companies like Salesforce and AWS, they'll go and buy tons of posters in races and matches. But as an early startup, we can't do that. So what is something that we can do and still attract several CEOs, CTOs from here and there? So Deepak, you, you know, I need to consult, you need to consult me on this and I charge for this advice actually, <laughs> because this will increase your business. Um, but like I'm saying, I have worked with tons of uh, B2B companies. We continue to work with them. You just stop treating them as B2B. The moment a B2B company realizes that they can be as exciting and as dynamic as, as the other company without spending extra, fantastic. It works brilliant with them. See, it's, it's a myth we have. I'm working with companies. I'm working with businesses. You actually never work. Which company do you work with? There are people in those companies, right? You're working with those people. So when we are defining that, fine, we, I want a certain set of companies to come and work with me, but those companies have a certain set of people uh, who are taking decisions. And those people are not homogeneous. They are as diverse as, as B2C. I think it's, it's a change in perception which we need to do. Got it. Thank you. Right. And... People are also asking, uh, so there's a question from Ashish and he's saying that there's a lot of brands which are established, big brands, and they are going to rebranding, changing logos yeah, and maybe, yeah, you know, yeah. infographics. Yeah. And so why are they doing this? What's the purpose behind that? Yes. So years back, um, um, I mean, we work with Lux, Pentine, uh, and a lot of these brands, if you know, every three, four years, they change the packaging. Okay, now <clears throat> in technical term, we call it rebranding. 
that they are rebranding but actually they are not rebranding they are just rejuvenating themselves right so if nissan has changed its its corporate identity nissan is still making the same cars same vehicles uh, in the progression they are moving from uh, you know ice to to evs and all that the logo has been changed what happens is as i mean it's a normal practice with us if there's something on my table and i see this there every day chances are that i become blind to it i don't see it i stop noticing it unless it starts jumping the day i sit on and it start jump you see ye kya who is this jumping it wasn't there yesterday and there are many ways to make it jump right changing the brand is one of them changing the colors changing the packaging changing the look changing the way the screens are changing you know moving things around that's what so it's not really rebranding there are very few companies which actually get into rebranding rebranding in my view is repositioning the company or the offering completely which very rarely they do that they only change the surface they only change a, a this thing so that you remain fresh so when you are going on a shelf in a in a shopping mall you say अच्छा लक्स आजकल ऐसा आता है वेरी नाइस कल तो दीपिका पादुकोण थी इसके ऊपर टुडे इज यू नो सम समबडी एल्स एंड से नाइस आई विल ट्राई इट व्हिच यू विल स्टॉप नोटिसिंग बिकॉज़ पर्पस इज सेल्स रिमेंबर दैट दिस रीब्रांडिंग पर्पस इज टू कंटिन्यू सेल्स डस दैट हेल्प एनी क्वेश्चंस सो इंस्टा लाइव पीपल आर स्लीपिंग नो क्वेश्चंस टुडे one question okay what is the question i'll answer that personal branding via media and via actual person are different sharuk is helped by media okay so um, who's asking ha <laughs> okay okay so so the question is that that personal branding via media and in person is different it's not really so what you need to see is that the media is a extension of the person only nothing else so if you look at me for example i have a team sitting here i'm talking to them face to face okay so that's one one kind of media connection second is i'm i'm talking to you through google meet or through insta live that's another so you will say i'm using a media i'm reaching more people but connection is same third is when this will go live on on the website or you put it on youtube right then there is it's not interactive but it is media right so it just so happens that yes there are companies which can spend millions of dollars overnight and let you know that we have a product awareness media helps in scaling the awareness it's not actually building the brand but if you have a good connect with people if you have something which really works connection will happen in media also so that's what i was saying about apple vision pro for example you like technology and and you like this multi sensorial uh, device which is coming up i would have not known about this unless i went and saw that uh, thing on tv or in the advertisement the next day but the connection is with the with the uh, product right or with the with apple right then one more okay last question okay <clears throat> devesh is when you think indian businesses are going to be more aware about branding and will give the world another apple naya how yeah see i i think we we must realize that our economy is a emerging economy we are not a very emerged economy so we do spend very minuscule amount of money into scaling or into this thing so i think the moment we have the right amount of money to invest into business to scale it internationally um we would have reached a brand now that's what i'm saying look at apple 3 3 trillion or 5 trillion company right they could reach out to millions of people overnight and i'm telling you this wo 3500 dollar ka ek headset aata hai on the first day when they launch it it will be sold out we know that even though it is very expensive why because they have the the investment worth making into a product worth buying we don't have that so i think the moment we have indian companies they reach the scale first to have that confidence in your product that it is needed and it is designed well it will work in the market on that minimum level i think we will have brands we will have brands coming in and we are reaching there i mean 
if you look at on political side, you look at on on the cultural side, I think Indian brands are doing very well. Look at yoga. It has become an international brand. We haven't yet worked out in terms of India how to benefit from a brand called yoga. Right? So there are millions of people working in Vietnam, in, in uh, Manhattan and wherever, and, uh, opening their own yoga studios, earning from it. What does India get from it is soft power. And we are happy with that. Mm -hmm. But that right. soft power needs to be converted into hard cash, whether that is tourism or that is evacuating our people in, in a certain time of crisis, whatever. So I think it will come, it will happen. It's, it's just a matter of time. We are a very young country. We, we are just born, right? Our economy, if you actually see, is not more than 30, what, 25 years old economy when we get, got into liberalization. Before that, yeah, yeah, I think you're not aware that companies needed to get permission from the government, can we produce so many motorcycles and sell them in the market? It was controlled. It's only now that our economy is open and it's a capital market uh, economy where you can make whatever, sell whatever, in whatever numbers at whatever profit. We are very, very young in that manner. So if you give it another 20 years, I think we'll be top of the world. And the, the type of conversations happening in India is, yeah. are different now, like especially if you see the last decade, right? The, the, the technology and awareness in people's mind is very different. And now even, you know, grandmas are using WhatsApp and doing video calls. That was now not possible in the old India. So I think it's time for India now. Um, so overall, we, you know, I think this, uh, this is great session. Uh, I don't know if there are any more questions. Uh, there is one question at our uh, side uh, from someone, uh, from our team. And th this question talks about the crisis situation. Let's say there, are, there is a bad news about the brand and people uh, are stopping the brand or maybe there is a ban on the brand and then that brand has to re uh, you know, rebounds. So what is the bounce back strategy uh, when especially when your name is wrong and you come back? How do you do that? See, again it's a sales wala question, it's not a brand car question. Right? So, so what happens is, if there is a news, uh, Maggie, yeah, so Maggie, a brand like Maggie, due to purity issue and how can brand bounce back, I think finally you need to build that trust. How do you respond back saying it is not, I mean, it came across as a hygiene issue, right? And people get extremely scared because they are eating Maggie, so they eat Maggie, eat Maggie, eat Maggie, and you didn't even think that there could be carcinogenic uh, things inside this. So once that happens, you get to know, you just put brakes on it. So somebody needs to fight back saying that was wrong information. It did happen, but it took its time, right? But then you also saw that there was a, it was a trigger. <clears throat> not one lab, not two labs, there are many labs which are reporting that it is true. Same thing happened with the, the water in a soft drink also, if you remember. Uh, right. You know, so... So yes, I, I think it's a matter of sale. The brand does not suffer. People still love the taste of the brand, uh, the Maggie. They were waiting to sub clear or that certificate clear or that. People are still eating Maggie. Check their turnovers right now. They matched up uh, what was there. Brand did not suffer. Sales suffered. Like like in the Corona situation, everybody started putting those sanitizer outside, yeah. and yeah. So, you know they were just trying to show that hey, these places are safe. Yeah. And we know that, you know, that was a time that, you know, everybody got scared to go outside in any public place. Right. So I think, yeah, that, that's, that's really uh, insightful. So Sudhir, uh, thank you so much for your time. And thanks. I also want to thank everyone from uh, your studio and people who have joined for their time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having Anything me. Anything you would like to say to, you know, our audience, uh, you know, as a closing note? Yeah, my, my only this thing is that we need to be mindful of using jargons, even in, in design and especially in the UX now, because many of these things are not our, what we are designing are not our personal experiences. We are going by somebody else's articulation and somebody else's um, um, experience. So what we need to do is as much as possible, have the personal experience as much as possible articulate it yourself for yourself saying design for me means this not what uh, Victor Papanik said 
design not what uh, you know um, somebody else or what i read somewhere design is this what does design mean to me what does brand mean to me what should i do so that the other guy will actually trust me i think that's very important so remain on ground remain keep it keep it a very grounded uh, uh, profession so, and and i tell you that that people listen to you when when you are talking from the personal experience and a language which they can understand they relate to it much more than than the book knowledge so it's okay we got into the field because of the excitement from somewhere else but go and experience it yourself um, it's a pleasure to speaking you know to speak with all of you get connected and keep in touch i think that's important we should all be in touch i don't know if you entered my awards or not you should enter the awards uh, <laughs> i have an event coming up in september that as well keep in touch that'll be very nice all right thank you everyone thank you subir thank you take care Bye.